What's up guys, it's Tatman Seas. And today's video is actually a response to a viewer's question. Marlon Miller commented on my steps to become an artist in 2020 video by asking, how do you stay focused? Well, Marlon, for me, being an artist and having the ability to take a thought manifested in my mind and transform it into something tangible kind of gives me an extended perspective on things. For example, a finished painting to most people only exists as that, finished, in the moment, the way you see it now. But for an artist with a blank canvas and an idea, he or she sees past the current moment and gets a glimpse into the future. The artist knows that the steps between the present and the future, or in this case, his or her finished painting, are contingent on the brushstrokes they lay down, or in life, their day-to-day -day routines. So having that finished image in my head before anyone else can see it, or before it's even a thing at all, gives me something to work towards. A finished painting or a tattoo or a scene in a screenplay is just a product of foresight. For example, again, the average person may look at me and see exactly what I am right now. Exactly what I put on today and exactly what energy I'm putting out at the moment. But what they won't see is who I want to be. The person I know for a fact I'm going to be in the near future. The person I'm taking steps to become. That person is my finished piece and my everyday lifestyle is like the brush strokes that I'm laying down to build up to that person. So as far as my focus and why I'm able to maintain it, my life and my art are synonymous. They both began as an idea, given the opportunity to grow on its respective canvas. And they both require my attention and action to grow from that spark to that fire. Now keeping that finished product in mind, whether it be a painting, a story, or a piece of music, you have to be really conscious about what goes into it and extra conscious about what doesn't go into it. So for example, if my painting is a black and gray portrait of Buddha, I automatically know to avoid colors and not to picture trees or cars or anything that's not a black and gray portrait of Buddha. If I know I wanna be a world famous basketball champion and I go to a sporting goods store, I know not to buy hockey pads or tennis rackets. If I know I wanna maintain positive energy and reach my maximum potential as a human being, then I know not to hang around negativity or people who aren't adding to the bigger picture or even worse, taking away from it. In short, my key to focus is actually having a goal. And the goal doesn't have to be set in stone. It can be altered or added onto once you reach it or if you get close enough to see ways to improve it. But generally you wanna have a close idea of what it is you're looking to achieve and you wanna fall in love with that idea constantly building up anticipation for when you get to see it come to life. Reminding yourself that the now is only a temporary stage in what will soon be an amazing piece of art. And that's how I stay focused. Thanks for the question, Marlon. I hope I was able to give you and the rest of the viewers some new info. I'll be making more videos on this topic. I upload at least one video every week, from motivational videos, tips for artists of all kinds, interviews with artists, and any interesting parts of my own art adventure. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new content. This is Tatman Seas. Bye bye bye. What the fuck?